pierced shoulders. One to two days. One to two days. Alright. Thirty, fifteen. To sell some shit in a minute. All right, let's poke our head in a little bit more. Let's see if we can find something else. Supply caravan would be nice. Something without our blisters would be nice. Should have a banner now. Do I have a bannerman? Kind of. Leaf is leveled. Don't know what I'm doing with it yet, though. Okay. Could go after those guys. Mm -mm -mm. Do we want to go after guys? Don't have rally yet. Though I think I was just saving it for the ambition. I actually do have the ability to take it. I lost my backup bannerman though, the one with iron lungs. That's who died, I think. Yeah. Use some more spears if I'm gonna take this fight. Swords, which I don't much like versus zombies. I really don't like flails versus zombies, though. I don't think I need a mace versus a zombie either. Necromancer, so that's good. You got a pierced lung, and the pierced lung got infected. Doesn't sound like a very good thing. I want minus 14 fatigue versus the zombies. Not really. Not yet. Anyone missing a knife? Yes. So, what then is the plan? Be a known garrison, we were just there. Camp and see if these guys will heal. Just go for it. Missing 10 HP here. They've got a pretty poor little rally. At least it's something. It's four guys. Kind of a lot. Name a sergeant. Nothing down here, annoyingly. Ten more. There's the sash there. Okay. Jump the ship. 
Never fought a boat. No. Well, it says it gives me a little arrow like I can fight it. I haven't been able to click it. I wonder if I can actually fight the boat. It's wasted a day wandering around. We're low on food and we're low on everything. Day and a half actually wandering around down here. Not sure we're getting much value out of this or not. Maybe we'll take the fight on the way out. And we're running low on pay. Let's try the guys. Okay. It's not green morale, you're confusing mood and morale, Zylo. There's two different things. So, um, mood dictates your mood, which my, um, dictates in green, there's various levels of green, dictates your chance to start at a confident morale or something less. So, we had a 50 50 chance on this guy to start at a confident morale. So, on Zylo. So, we now have a guy with confident morale. Confident morale gives us 10% um, to all stats. Uh, I do want to back up some. I want the guys to come forward. Okay. Assuming there's four again. I think there is. Then we gotta go do something a little bit more profitable than wait on these stupid guys to send out merchants because it's really not that profitable for us. I want their gear, but man, I'm not seeing much. That last fight, I mean, we're clearing out. To some degree, we're just clearing out the uh, some char additional characters that we don't really want anymore. So that's not the end of the world. We haven't lost characters I'm super excited about. I kind of liked that Bannerman, but I wasn't entirely sure if he was going to be decent or not. But the downside is just the gear that dies with them. Is this there's four guys. Okay. My banner there, okay. That's where they end up. Um, if they're in a good mood, they have they're able to they're able to have a high a high confidence if they're in a bad mood they often can't even get to a high confidence there's lots of little positive and morale checks positive and negative morale checks across the course of a fight every time an enemy n moves next to you or resurrects next to you is a negative morale check you have a chance to drop a level of morale uh, resolve uh, let me see if i can actually find the, the ones that show you yeah all right morale checks trigger on these occasions positive morale check on killing an enemy Positive morale check on seeing an enemy be killed. Positive morale check, or excuse me, negative morale check on seeing an ally be killed. Negative morale check on seeing an ally flee. Um, negative morale check for being hit with 15 or more damage. Um, negative or morale check for being engaged by more than one opponent. And uh, rally can also give you positive morale checks. So your mood limits which morale, which ones you can have at all. And if you're low enough mood, you can't be confident. Confidence is a big stat boost. So that's kind of what's happening there. Um, let's keep scooting around a little bit.
just the blueberries. Yeah, increase the, your mood dictates what your maximum, uh, your maximum morale, your maximum confidence level can be, and your confidence levels dictate your stats. Some of them, anyways. All right, blueberries, where are you coming? Not where yet, huh? Had the position I want to engage from, I think. That's right. Confident humans get the blue flag. Confident enemies get like this red. It's kind of a uh, dangerous looking flag. Looks like a danger or warning flag. All right, these zombies are going to be a pain. Now, I'm really kind of annoyed the guys aren't here yet. And this bush is really in the way. Two, three, four, this is too far away. There they are. Still too far away to do anything. I can never predict if they're going to come north or south. It feels like I ought to be able to. Suppose, well. Hey, Billy. I'm pretty sure confidence does nothing to actually uh, impact damage. I don't think damage is an attribute that is affected by confidence. It's just the stats you have. So just your chance to hit. And I see that a lot. And orcs, I don't think orc base accuracy is all that high. The guys who are the scariest with confident things are the guys with the highest base accuracy. Because it's a percentage modifier. So... I don't, I don't, I see that, I see that toted tout, a lot that confident orcs are really scary, but I think confident goblins are more scary because they have the really sick range skills that they're getting a buff to. I don't know, I don't, I'm not quite sure why people say that, but I've heard that a lot. This is so dangerous. Experiment with the holdout perk. No, I don't see a lot of point in it. down one tree and do it, okay. One, two, three, four, okay. Going there, waiting, going there, ending turn. Here, 
swinging. Am I going in there? It seems suicidal. I don't think so. Hmm. I need both of those tiles. I could go there if I wanted to. I need this tile. I'm gonna start getting too far away with this guy. Actually, I do need these tiles because I need to move forward. These two to attack the Geist. This one with the Spearman. This one with the Swordsman. Okay. Geist. Shit, it's there I have to be. A lot of guys can move there. near death would give me a morale boost all right all the zombies gets attack off but I'm oh come on okay it's got cleavered by the fucking near dead zombie spear zombies in here it's a little bit scary I need these guys down though I was there. I was there. One, two, three, four. Actually, it's still okay. Let's actually do that so I don't keep getting stabbed. Could it just wreck my entire group? Alright, guys down. Ice down. Four rallies. It's good. Scary as shit, though. Alright. That was really lucky, actually. Three guys kills on four attacks. Or three attacks, even. This is, the rest of this fight should be pretty manageable. Let's see. We are a little bit buried over here. Guys are always able to melee, yep. They don't like to, but if you're next to them, sometimes they will. Or if you're immune to fear, they'll melee you all the time. Alright, I think we're going to rotate Drivik out. Because he's pretty low. And we need to start killing in here. except nothing's wounded. Oh man, all right. Um, this is our first action too, because we, we were we were rallied, so we'll probably go first next round. Let's wait one round there. Yeah, guess melee ignores armor. It's like a puncture attack, so it's very, very dangerous. Don't know if I should have walked into being beneath the ledge there. Exactly, they spam melee if you try if you if they if they if they 
break you next to them and you'd run away, they get to attack their melee attack on you, which ignores your armor and just crushes you in like two attacks. It's kind of scary. Nice to rally again, but I'm not convinced we can do it. Now we got two, that's not bad. Two wavering statuses removed. Okay. We're gonna be playing Warcraft 2 with Arvius today. Warcraft 3 with Arvius today. Um no. I mean he hasn't talked to me about it and I have no expectation of doing that, no. Alright, some big hits on us. Certainly be willing to do it again at some point. I tried to set it up the last couple days because I've been busy with Battle Brothers. Uh. Taking in here, I guess. It's a problem. Don't have the stamina to reload on Xylo. Even like one more turn of the guys being up could have been hugely disastrous. Our whole team was wavering. Oh, I was meant to attack that. Damn it. Would have been over if we attacked that. All right. Some money, we needed money, that's good. But very little in the way of gear and no legendaries, which is too bad. People are very, very happy. Around 90, it's funny. It's from the uh, aspiration, or whatever it's called. Two, res two stamina again is pretty painful. Take some resolve. Uh, what are we taking on stuff? I don't know yet. Cause I don't know how I'm building my guys yet this playthrough. Which makes it awkward. I gotta figure that out tonight. Those are good rolls. Another amazing roll in here. Wildman's turning out amazing. Don't know what I'm doing with him yet. Any other levels? No. Ah, uh, yes. This is a little bit easier to work with. Four there is great. Three there is good. I need HP. Okay. Okay. I have the labor event fire. I don't know what that is. 
Go get food. This is undead wandering around. Oh no, he's killing my caravan. No, 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 that's my caravan. Bad undead. Bad undead. God damn it. I'm not fighting a bunch of weiss for no reason. And we're out of food now. The team gets really pissy when, uh... When you don't feed them for a while. Some mercenaries, we should kill that. We're out of tools as well. Uh, do we have the ability to kill that right now? Without losing anybody, preferably. Okay there, okay there. Probably. Some 15's out here. Got 110 though. Five there. Fifty-one HP on Xylo. So low. Okay, could probably handle this. Like to move a little bit closer this way, so you can come back this way is fine. All right. Dog, uh, the dog base is looking very shiny for some reason. Okay, I want his armor. I didn't bring any flails because I'm a scrub. Oh, come on. Really? No flails? Can we just retreat and fight again? You can bring me flails this time? This fight's going to be so much more painful without flails. hate retreating. The, the problem with retreating is you get the morale hit from doing it. And I already take a morale hit from not feeding him. And it's much nicer to be at a static morale all the time. A generous bestowal. Thank you, Nickus. You passed the bar exam. Congratulations, man. It's a big deal. And I'm glad the stream helped for that. Cheers on that, man. And I'll add you, uh, add, I'll add you to the list, gentlemen, be fighting on the team. All right. I'm going to go reset my weapons. I don't know how they get their dogs to stay put, but it's cheating. Yeah, the 140 Dire Mail stuff is actually decent. You can use it on archers. You can use it on anyone to begin with, but it's actually decent mid-game too. The 100 stuff's a little bit light. I don't know that you're going to get much use out of it at all. And the Taylor event gives you the 100 stuff, to the best of my knowledge, so I'm not at all excited about that. And I've never seen it happen. So it's another one of these things. It's like, would you like to have a Taylor in your inventory for fucking ever? And like, he'll never do what he's supposed to be doing. I guess for me at least, that's a no. Yeah, maybe it's really good for panicking nobles. Any thought about that? It's an interesting idea. I did have an archer. It's too bad. Um, all right, let's grab. Yeah, see how my morale just tanked. Sucks a lot. Let's grab uh, flails now. 